So I was scrolling around on social media and I saw an ad with this effect and I was like, hey man, can I do this in Canva? I guess I can. So let me show you how I did it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick out a photo that you might wanna use. I use the road and the highway. So the only reason I'm gonna put this here now is because I wanna get a color that kinda of matches with this photo. So I'm gonna grab this and use it as my background color and I'm gonna delete this for the moment. Next, what you wanna do is come over and grab some text. I'm gonna put ride. I'm gonna go up here and make them all capital. I'm gonna come and I am going to grab this text right here and I am going to make it big. And I am going to put it in the center like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to file, download. Now this is video format. So what I wanna do now is I wanna make this a PNG. So I'm gonna click PNG and I'm gonna go and download. Now, because I'm a free user, I'm gonna come over and use Remove BG. So I'm gonna go and upload this into Remove BG. I am gonna go into Erase and Restore. I want to restore my background. So what we're doing here is making a mask. So I just wanna go here. This is usually pretty intuitive, so you can be kind of sloppy, just kind of, and you'll see the little sparkles, and you'll see that the background's all back. So now I want to go to Erase. I'm going to take my brush size down a little bit, and I am going to hit the black spots that are here for my letters. And as you can see, I'm doing it very sloppily, and we're going to see how well that's going to erase. So you missed a little spot there. Grab that. All right, now that when you got it looking the way you want it to look, you're gonna push done, download. Then we're gonna head back over to Canva. So once it's downloaded, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to Elements and I'm gonna grab my photo, my photo. And I'm gonna get it to fit the background where I want it to be. I am going to duplicate that photo, layer it on top, and then I am going to move it down to where I want my line to come in. So once I got where I want it to come in, I am going to upload my mask that we just created. Then oh, what I'm gonna do is size it to where I want it to be sized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the position so I can see. So when it comes in, I kind of, let's move it down a little bit so we can make this a little bit bigger. So I am going to size it so it's kind of on the edge right here, just personal preference. Like so. Then what I want to do now is take this ride from over here I am going to change this to a white. I am going to take it and grab it and slide it over to this one that I'm working on. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this first page. I don't need that anymore. Then what you want to try to do is go and take it down and kind of match size wise what you got here. And then we're going to go into position and move that to the back, but not in front of your picture. So your solid picture, it's going to be on top of your solid picture. While that's highlighted, what you want to do is go and turn the transparency all the way down. Now, there's two things you can do on this next part. You can go and use a square, or we're going to do a little live action and not use the square. I want to do a little something different. We're going to try, I'm going to cheat do it that way. I'm going to try, I want to use a wave coming up. So let's change that to white. And then we want to make sure that it covers everything. So I'm going to move it down. Move it up. Like so. And make sure that all of my words are going to be things. So I'm going to put it behind the ride. Okay, so that covers everything. 
So we're good on that and we're a good sizing. So now I have everything in place that I need. So I'm going to take the white wave or you can use a square, whatever you want to do. And I am going to go and lower that below my second partial picture. I'm going to take my ride. I am going to move it off to the side. Now, if you want to move it completely off, what you can do also is what I call a tab. I've kind of like started calling these things tabs. I don't know. Come on. Camera's being funky right now. So I can make a pull tab. And then what I can do, go in a position. My dog is kicking my hip. She's so high maintenance. And a control key. Group those together. Take that tab right there. Go into your color. Turn it transparent. And now if you want to take that, and then we're going to go back and go into position and make sure that it is behind here. Like so. And make sure that your white is behind that. And then your text is behind all of that. So what we want to do now, you can start off here if you want to. But if you want to go completely off the page, you can, because now you have a square where you can pull. Just how thick you want. Just make sure you don't go to where your words can see. You can make it really thick. You can make it really thin. It's all up to you. You have room to play. So now you have your whole setup. So let's go into some motion, getting it so we can get emotion. So I'm going to duplicate the page. I am going to grab my ride. I am going to slide it over very wonkily, as I always do, because for some reason I have the worst unsteady hands ever when it comes to this stuff. So I always go like super slow. I look like a turtle. All right, so I got my first part of my animation done, right? So the second part is I'm going to duplicate that page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it again. I am going to lift it up like so. And then I'm going to duplicate the page again. I'm going to grab my white wave or your white square or whatever color square you want to use. And then I'm going to lift that up into here. Then I'm going to duplicate the page again. I am going to take my one that is transparent. I am going to turn the transparency all the way back up. So now you can see the ride and I am going to Highlight my mask, control key, hold your control key down, highlight your wave. That way they'll stick together. And then I am going to move those below, like so. That right should have been up a little higher. Let's see how bad that looks. All right, so now that we have all that in place, what I want to do is go ahead, you know me, we're going to grab that transition. We're going to go between the pages, grab the transition, match and move. I'm going to turn the duration all the way up, apply it between all pages. Um, then you're going to set your timing for whatever you want. So we can go, let's try two, which one's up 2.5. You know, this thing is never really what it says it is. One more. All right, everybody's two now. Woo woo. Okay, so now we're going to play and see what we have and see if we didn't muck this up. So let's see. Ready? So it's going to come in. It's going to come up. Your wave, your color is going to come up. So with that ride, since that was off a little bit, what I want to try to do in this position, so we're going to do some real live troubleshooting. I'm going to try to get that ride in here and take this ride and get into the center. So let's look at that and see if we troubleshooted that any better. And still off to the side a little, little bit. So you just want to try to get your position really well on that. That ride should be there. That ride. Let's see. Oh, there you go. And that's how you do that. It's, it's really not that hard to do, especially once you get the the motion down pat and everything. The other thing I tried to do, if y'all want to stay for a little extra extra, was I duplicated the page and I wanted the ride to come forward like it was riding down the road. 
But the problem with that, let's see, the problem with that is when I go like this to make it bigger, to look like it's coming down the road, let's add the match and move in there and turn all the pages back to two. Problem it is where the position is. I have to get this right above that. Like so, come on. So I have to put that on the top for it to do that. But look, if when I do that, you can see that that go that pfft, I'm trying to say it, the partial piece right there. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of cheated. I you can kind of cheat with that a little bit, but you're just gonna have to turn your timing down. So when you get to, you can just that last one where it's sitting, duplicate that one if you want to try to make it move forward and not do that. Once it's here, take that rod and put it above it. And let's see. The only problem is you're going to have this long pause right here. And that's the issue I was trying to work through with that because I really wanted it to come forward. See, if you do it that way, you lose that with doing the double right here. But maybe y'all have some better ideas. I know I got some awesome designers that watch this thing. So if you do, leave them in the comments. If you're on Facebook, you know where to hit. You know where to find me. But that's this one. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. And I'm glad I got this tutorial done with a chihuahua kicking my hip the entire time. But anywho, I love you guys. Bye, y'all.